Dubbed one of the world's grandest infrastructure projects, the 19-mile-long bridge linking China to Hong Kong is almost complete. With an estimated $19 billion price tag, more steel than 60 Eiffel Towers and eight years in the making, Beijing hopes the payoff will be more than just economic benefits at a time of growing tensions between the two sides. But some feel it'll blur the border. People are not only thinking about, I mean people of Hong Kong not thinking about it's only a physical bridge. It is in fact a bridge trying to unite mainland with Hong Kong or more, even more. It's a way to blur the position of Hong Kong. So Hong Kong is more and more part of China with every means of direct access. Despite a guarantee of autonomy with one country, two systems, Hong Kong critics are still suspicious of Beijing's creeping control. And some feel the bridge may draw the city closer to communist China. It's also seen as a white elephant, unlikely to draw the estimated 40,000 vehicles a day. That will be determined at the end of the year when the bridge finally opens, bringing what some economists say new opportunities. You look at the uh biggest economies like uh, the US, Japan, Germany, even UK and China, they grew by globalization, making more goods and exporting more and also importing more. I think it's no use to resort to isolationism. Uh, isolationism will only make you poorer because you cannot shut out the world. That is unrealistic. Once finished, the road will link Hong Kong to the Chinese city of Zhuhai and the territory of Macau, creating what one project manager calls one bridge, three systems.